everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a mommy and toddler meal prep. It's actually Saturday and it is 8.14 in the morning, hence the reason why I'm still in my pajamas. I did my hair and makeup so I didn't scare anybody, but still in my PJs and I'm doing this on Saturday. I would usually do this on Sunday, but I want this video to go up tomorrow for those of you, I know a lot of you go shopping Sunday mornings and I just really wanted to give you uh, this video in time to go grocery shopping. So many of you have requested this video and I'm trying to help a mama out here. So I'm going to be making some breakfast, lunch, and snack ideas. And the reason why I'm calling this mommy and toddler is because Chris works and they feed him at work. So the breakfast portion and snacks and stuff he'll have, but a lot of times he doesn't bring lunch with him because they already serve him lunch at work. So anyway, I feel like meal prep is so important for moms, just having things ready to grab for your toddler, but especially for yourself. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am almost 24 weeks pregnant and chasing around two toddlers is hard and you almost forget to eat until you're sick. So just having quick things you can grab is super important for moms in general, but especially like when you're pregnant and everything like that. One of the things that has really helped me are these smoothies. This is Juice by Jewel. A lot of people think that these are just cleanses and that's not true at all. Their smoothies are super healthy and good for you. There's a million to choose from. This is my second time ordering from them and this by far is my favorite one and I'm really sad because I only have one left. But this one is chia berry. It has chia seeds, pomegranate, strawberry, lemon, and agave and it is just delicious. These are my other three favorites. This one I like to grab on the go for like when I'm bringing Carter to school and don't have time to like eat right away in the morning. It has 14 grams of protein. You can see. It has almond butter, chia seeds, dates, cacao nibs, blueberries, maca, and vegan protein. And again, this is really good for like a quick on the go. And then Day Glow, this is a blended smoothie with carrot, apple, pineapple, and rice milk. And I just feel like it's super refreshing. And then this is Chris's favorite. This is Berry Blend and again, if you know my husband, he's so picky. Like, he likes like meat and potatoes, he's that kind of guy, but when I try to do things like super healthy, he's just like, like an avocado is like death to him. But anyway, he really likes this one. And this is a very simple, it's strawberry, blueberry, banana, coconut milk, and agave. So I'm just showing you guys the quick things first. Um, and then I'm gonna go into making a bunch of items. This is also mine and Tanner's favorite soup. Tanner will house this soup. I feel like if you have little ones and you're kind of just starting to feed them solids and things like that, this is awesome. It's split pea soup, 100% vegan and gluten free. And my family has been making split pea soup forever. They put like a big ham in it and it's just like really not the healthiest. And this one is super healthy. Again, not that calories really matter, but it's 140 calories. They're nut squash soup, delicious. And then I also had another split pea soup, because a lot of times Tanner will eat the, like almost the entire thing and I'll have like two spoonfuls left for myself. So anyway, I love juice by Jules. And again, these are just my top favorites. They also have some other stuff they have um, they have like nuts that I've gotten in the past, like almonds, I got tamari almonds from them. They have like the little energy bites. They do have cleanses, but they're healthy cleanses. They're not like starvation cleanses or anything like that. Um, they just have a ton of stuff. So I definitely recommend them to go ahead and check out their website. And these are just like a healthy, quick thing for mamas to grab. The other thing about the smoothies being blended and not cold pressed is that it keeps all of the fibers from the fruits and vegetables, which keeps you fuller longer. So that's also really good for those of you that are, I don't wanna say diet, cause I really don't like that word, but are watching what you eat and trying to stay fuller longer. Also, this is great so you don't have to go to the grocery store. This is delivered straight to your door. And you have a subscription. Like the subscription option is worth it because all of the prices are lower and you get free shipping. But the subscription option is really great because you can choose every 7, 30, or 90 days. So make sure you use the link in my description box to check out Juice by Jewels and use the code BEASTINS25 for 25% off. Okay, now let's get started on all of this cooking and I'm hungry and haven't eaten yet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is cutting up produce and a lot of people don't like the fact to 
cutting up produce early, but it's worked out fine for my family, especially for my toddlers, because a lot of times, if things aren't cut up, the fruit winds up going bad and we don't use it. It's just so easy to grab things out of the fridge, um, such as the already cut up fruit. Like after any meal, they usually have fruit, and sometimes for breakfast, they'll just have yogurt with fruit in it. But as well as the fruit and all of that, I'm going to be cutting up some peppers and onions and just some other things to make these little Tupperwares. They're great just for like omelets and things like that to quickly grab. A lot of people make pre-made like omelet packages like onions, peppers, and veggies in the single package. But again, since my husband is very picky, I'm just going to put like onions, peppers, and I got some other vegetable too, but I'm gonna put them in separate containers so that he can make what he wants from each omelet. Again, super easy, because you're just gonna scramble your egg, put it in your pan, and add your toppings. Fastest omelet you ever had. Another great thing about this that you can also do, just by having like all of your produce cut up ahead of time, is I know a lot of moms will do this during nap time and things like that, but to have this just to throw in your dinner. So first I'm starting off with some peppers and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them up. Again, I really love this in my omelets. My husband, however, it's not his favorite, but he will eat it in like dinners and things like that. So again, just cutting them up. And my rule, which I'm very like crazy about this, and a lot of people don't really care too much about it, is I, my meal prep is for three days. I don't go longer than that because it grosses me out. And I'm sorry if you do meal prep for like the entire week, but just like as a nurse and <laughs> things like that, I just, I can't meal prep for longer than three days. So since that, so probably Wednesday, I'll go ahead and meal prep a little bit again. I also want to be realistic about time. So let's just say I'm starting this on my clock at 8.33. It takes a little bit longer um, because I'm moving the camera around and stuff like that. But I just wanna give you guys an idea of how long all of this is gonna take. This thing saves like a lot of time. I've shown it in other videos too. Um, and you get evenly cut produce, which is great for when you're cooking so things cook at the same time, so. Okay, so it's 8.35, so that took two minutes to chop all of those peppers. So I'm just going to put this in my biggest glass Tupperware. Hopefully, I don't even know if that will all fit in here. I'm like the worst judge of that. Also, I'm, I'll, I'll put this on my recipe playlist, but a while back I had like a chicken fajita soup recipe. That's one of like my favorites. So if you do like anything in the crock pot, which I'm a huge fan of crock pot meals, this kind of stuff is great for that too. Crock pot's already easy in the first place, and then you just go ahead and put in your already pre-chopped vegetables. So, awesome sauce. Voila, 8.37. Moving on now to some onions. Again, the insert that I'm using is just like these small, tiny squares. I think this is the smallest square it comes in. If it came in smaller, I'd probably cut the onions even smaller, but it doesn't, so I'll cut them that big. I am just using one yellow onion. Yellow onions are my favorite. I don't really buy any other ones. I'll buy red onions for my uh, fresh diced mango salsa. And I, if you guys enjoy this cooking video, I will gladly show you more of like my favorite recipes and stuff like that. But mango salsa is hands down like my hit. Like if I'm coming to a picnic, everyone's like, you're bringing your mango salsa, right? And I'm like, okay, I'll bring it for you. And then I sit there and eat the whole thing with um, lime tostitos. I love the lime tostitos. Alrighty. 
cut these one more time to make the chopping easier. and I'll use this little guy right here. I'll have all this stuff linked in the description box. Just FYI, I try to link as much as I can in the description boxes of my videos. So if you ever see a product in my videos, a lot of times it's linked in the description box because I get questions on it. My eyes are still burning even with this thing. I have the most sensitive eyes of life. I need those onion goggles. Woo! So just like taking the time out of your day for one day, one morning, saves you for the week, so I'll take it. And I just wiped onion juice in my hair. So, Chris should like that later. So next up, I'm doing just some cherry tomatoes, or these might be great tomatoes. Yeah. Grape tomatoes. I don't really know what the difference is, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below. But I am the only person in the house that likes these, and when I'm pregnant, I'm all about those tomatoes. I usually could care less about tomatoes. I'm not, I know, I remember learning there's something, a nutrient in tomatoes that is like very good for you, and I'm sure that my body is just telling me that I need that nutrient. And let me just move the camera. And I have been putting these in my omelets, or some, a lot of times, I keep saying omelets, but a lot of times I just like my eggs scrambled with the toppings in them. But I also put these on top of avocado toast with some everything seasoning from Trader Joe's. Again, just cutting things ahead, ahead of time is just so much faster. Time check, it is 8.42. Okay, so next up we are making a flourless peanut butter chocolate chip protein muffins. And this could be quick for Chris to grab as he's going out the door for me to grab. Um, hopefully the kids like them. I haven't tried them with them, but that just sounds delicious to me. And I think it could be a breakfast or a snack. Okay, so for this recipe, you are going to need two bananas. I have one that's really ripe already. The riper the better. Um, and then this one I just microwaved for 15 seconds to make it a little bit softer. And then you're going to need a cup of uh, creamy peanut butter, one fourth cup of honey, two eggs, and then of course our mini chocolate chips. And this is a half cup of mini chocolate chips. Um, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then here is the protein portion. In this I have four tablespoons of protein. I have one teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is mash my bananas. And I just have like a little potato masher, like a handheld one. Eventually, one day, I will get my KitchenAid mixer. You guys know I've been talking about a KitchenAid mixer for a year now since I started YouTube. But I think this Mother's Day, I'll get it. Because last Mother's Day, I got a KitchenAid mixer didn't touch it, saw that my Dyson V7 vacuum was on sale, and I was like, honey, how would you feel if I brought back the KitchenAid mixer and got a vacuum? And he was like, it's your gift, whatever you want. And that's how you know you're a mom.
Okay, so it is 9.18 and I'm going to take a break. Um, again, just updating on time so you know. I feel like that definitely could have taken a lot faster. One, I could have used my Nutribullet or if you have like a blender or whatever, you could use that instead of using the hand mixer or if you have a KitchenAid. Um, but we're just taking a break because we're both getting really hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and make those omelets that I talked about. These are just going to go in for 12 to 14 minutes on 400. So I'm just making Chris like two eggs. Um, I'll flip them and put some American cheese on them and he'll have that on his bagel. And I'm going to make myself like not an omelet because it's scrambled. But I'm using a little bit of those onions that I cut up. Not too much. I don't like a lot of onion. And then some of my tomatoes. Adding some spinach. Okay, so next I'm making blueberry muffins, and for this recipe, I'm using this gluten-free flour. You can use regular flour. This is by far my favorite gluten-free flour to date. So anyway, we are going to be needing one cup of flour, and then one tablespoon of flour for later, one cup of oats, two teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and you're gonna need two eggs beaten, and then in this, I just have one cup of yogurt, and the yogurt I'm using is vanilla Greek. You can use plain Greek yogurt or whatever flavor you want. Um, I have one third cup of honey in there, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then I'm going to add one fourth cup of milk to that, and then one cup of blueberries. So again, I'll have all of these recipes linked in the description box. They're all Pinterest finds. Don't mind my pan, but you can see like the juices and stuff just spilled over the sides. But they look delicious and they're nice and I'm not gonna say the M word, but they look really good. So now I'm just going to make some overnight oats. And I make two at a time. One I'm going to have like a fruit and the other one is going to be a peanut butter chocolate chip. And I just got these from the Dollar Tree. Mm. 
this much peanut butter. Again, this is all like whatever you want to put in it. So easy and a, just a good, not only for breakfast, as a snack, lunch, whatever. A couple of mini chocolate chips. And then I just add a little bit of milk and I use 2%. You can use almonds, coconut, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. And then I'm just going to add some frozen raspberries and some frozen blueberries. I feel like the frozen does really well in the overnight oats, but you can use um, fresh as well. milk okay guys so now I'm just hard boiling some eggs I let them get to a boil and then I'm gonna let them cook for 15 minutes and put them into some cold water these are great to just grab as snacks Carter really loves them they're not Tanner's favorite and I love making egg salad and then last but not least, I just like to make up these little um, glass Tupperwares of some celery and carrots and some peanut butter. Just again, so simple, but it's just something that you can easily grab and snack on when you just need something quick. Another thing I like to do sometimes is add some um, raisins right into the peanut butter and then dip it like that and that's really good as well. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.